Right, the last thing we need to do is we need to go to phase one, copy our report from phase one, paste it in phase two, please not cut and paste, copy, because we still need your phase one, one. <laughs> All right, now we're going to open this one up and we are also going to open up your questionnaire analysis in Excel. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to paste your graphs in your report. Copy, go to your report and there is a section called findings, a heading called findings. Now please paste the graph under findings. Okay, you can paste it like that, then it adapts to this theme. Just the first paste. And then the second one. And the third one, if you listen to me. <laughs> All right, and now the very, very important part is to actually interpret that graph. Now, interpretation is to actually clearly say what you can see from that graph. So as if, if I take this one as an example, to say from the graph above, you can see how many people play games. That is not an interpretation. That is not a finding. If I, st if I still need to refer back to the picture or back to the graph myself, then you did not make a finding. Okay. You need to say explicitly, the graph above shows that 55% of people play games. This is significant because what, what, what? And then you actually explain something else if you have something else to explain. Okay. Maybe it's as simple as that. Um, and then you just state the other side and you say 45% don't play games. It could be as simple as that. But if you have any interesting conclusions to draw from that or any other comments to deliver on that, then it would actually be great as well. Um, the per monthly spend, uh, you can, you can actually say, uh, the respondents, the question that respondents were asked was this and this and this. On this question, the outcome of the results showed that male um, consumers spend more per month on e-commerce on average compared to female um, respondents. Respondents are the people who answer your questionnaire. So you see what I say is I don't, in this instance, I didn't actually refer to the values. But in this instance, I still clearly said that the males spend more than the females. So the person who reads the description didn't actually need to look at the graph to know what I mean. The graph is only there to support it. The graph is only the proof of what I am saying as a finding. Okay. Okay, now the last mark that you need in this area in under findings is one that they say that your findings or your recommendations actually include new or thoughtful ideas about the problem or the investigation. Now, my criteria for that personally, if I have to mark that, I look for learners who manage to connect the dots. Okay, and if I say that, I mean connect the dots between more than one question. So is there a pattern in the data? Try to find a pattern. Is there a pattern between specific genders who chose specific answers in their questions? Is there a pattern where people who said yes or no to a specific question all said the same answer to another question, for example? Um, things like that. You basically need to find a pattern between two questions. And then for this last mark, even though you don't necessarily have a graph on that, you just write a paragraph on um, basically, you basically say, um, in the questionnaire results, I also found that, and then you describe um, 
most people who said they like they save water still shower three times a day or whatever nonsense like that so you um draw conclusions and you have to actually you can't just make these things up i mean it has to be proven from your data but then you can say what patterns you've seen if you can find any i mean this is it's one mark um, and it would be nice if you can find something but this is the last thing that you can do for findings um, to get full marks for the findings last thing just a note for phase two the last two marks that you get for phase two is that um, all your files are actually in that you have files on um, that you have a database and that you have a, a excel analysis and that your questionnaires are saved so in there it actually has you has to have your pdf questionnaire as well as the original download file that it doesn't have any formatting or function or anything in or the downloaded or the scanned copies if you did a paper one and the very last mark is that all of this is organized neatly and that there aren't any duplicate and unnecessary extra files all right and that's phase two